Babe, I've got a question. How would you feel if today your mother would come and tell you this? Honey, I've decided to cut off your arm. Don't worry, I know what's best for you. Here's the doctor, here's the knife. But, but, don't worry, you have a second arm. You don't need to. So you think this would never happen? Well, maybe not with an arm, but something similar happens to millions of baby boys every day. Half of their genitals get chopped off because one third of the world believes that it looks better, is healthier or religiously expected. But does it really look better? Does it really contribute to health? Why do people actually cut off foreskin? You know me, I'm a thinker and I like to question the human mind. So I started to question circumcision with an open mind and an open heart. And I found out some pretty, pretty unbelievable stuff. So, in order to properly analyze this, let us look at some scientific facts about the foreskin. The foreskin contains up to 20,000 nerve endings, which makes up about half the nerve endings of the entire penis. On the inner surface of the foreskin is a fluid called smegma. This stuff is magic. It contains immune cells, which protects the penis from nasty viruses. And not just this, the force can protect the glans penis from friction and abrasion throughout life, keeping it soft, moisturized, healthy and sensitive. It's kind of like a free spa treatment every day, all day. And boy, how awesome is this, the force can produce its own lubricant for free. And during intercourse, the force can help to reduce friction for your lady and stimulate her G-spot. To put it in really simple words, the foreskin is magic. It is a specialized structure with super important protective, erogenous and sexual functions. Just a few years back, scientists performed a circumcision in an MRI machine to monitor the baby's brain during circumcision. The whole procedure caused so much pain to the baby that it produced permanent changes to his brain. They continued to make scans over the next days, weeks, months and even a year and found that the brain never returned to the baseline. Some babies feel so much pain that they begin choking. Others go into shock and stop screaming because their tiny body doesn't know how to respond to the overwhelming pain. Each year over 100 newborn baby boys die as a result of circumcision complications. The foreskin is a densely innovated structure. When it gets destroyed and damaged, it can cause a myriad of problems such as erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, infections, a buried penis, tingling, numbness, decrease of sexual sensation and many many more issues. Today a large part of the medical world also know that circumcision trauma can cause mental problems such as post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, anger, low self-esteem and it might even double the risk of autism. The foreskin contains several very special structures that increase sexual pleasure such as the frenulum and rigid band. Both are removed in circumcision. The rigid band, for example, contains so-called fine touch receptors. You have the same kind of nerve also in the lips and fingertips. If you want to get a better idea of the sensation these nerves provide, then try this experiment. First, lightly stroke your fingertip over the back of the other hand. Now stroke your fingertip over the palm of your hand. Feel the difference? They say the least sensitive parts of the foreskin are more sensitive than the most sensitive parts of the circumcised penis. Truth is that in a landmark study of US women, 85% who had experienced both circumcised and uncircumcised men preferred sex with circumcised men. Some of these women associated sex with circumcised men with pain and dryness. This is because the head of the circumcised penis scrapes out lubrication out of the vagina with each stroke. In another study, women were twice as likely to reach orgasm with an intact man. This is because the uncircumcised penis provides a natural lubrication inside the vagina and a gentle internal rolling and gliding massaging sensation. In the last years, there have been many claims that circumcision prevents HIV or STDs. Truth is, these studies have repeatedly been proven to be exaggerated or even false. Only abstinence and safe sex can prevent you from such diseases. 
So after all my research, I asked myself, why would doctors continuously claim that circumcision is a healthy choice if babies can die from it? If there's no real proof that it prevents diseases and MRI tests clearly show the disturbing long-term effects circumcision has on the brain, body and therefore life of a baby. Well, I dug deeper and found out about the hidden industry of baby foreskins. The foreskin of the baby has magical cell properties similar to those found in stem cells. Because of this, the chopped off baby foreskin is not tossed out but instead being sold to companies which make high-end facial creams out of it. Companies will pay thousands of dollars for a single foreskin. It is this powerful. The baby won't see a penny of this deal. You see, this video is not about saying what's right or wrong. It's not about blaming doctors, families, religions or anyone. It is simply made for the purpose of giving you an additional perspective on circumstances.